Hello, friends. I am Frank Smith, IT Manager at Atlas MedStaff. Welcome back to Wino Wednesday. I'm Rich Smith, co-founder of Atlas MedStaff. Uh, I thought I would get another fellow Smith here because the wine we're drinking today is called Chateau Smith. Uh, vented and bottled by Charles Smith Wines, House of Smith in Mattawa in Quincy, Washington. Clever name. There we go, I uh, guess. The Smith. Oh, the Smith part, yes. yes. Yeah, Chateau Smith. House of Smith is the largest independent winemaker-owned vineyard in Washington State. Wines are sold in all 50 states and 23 countries. That's that's a lot. That's I'm for glad that Washington it's State. Available here. Yeah. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon, right up your alley, right? I mean, you like oh, the reds. Yeah, absolutely, my favorite, no question. Uh, Twenty-one dollars a bottle. That's a little bit high, yeah. uh, outside of my normal budget, but uh, I'm looking forward to trying it. Uh, maybe that'll change my budget. Maybe. Let's find out. All right, well, well cheers. cheers. Mm. See, I, um, that's just good. That's very good. A little uh, peppery. Well-structured, good tannins. What's I learned that from somebody. What's a tannin? I don't. I don't know what that is. That is well. I think that's what kind of comes primarily from the skin of the grapes oh. that provide that sort of uh, astringence, kind of that okay. dry feel that you get. How'd that go? Kind of like a Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> not, maybe not quite like that. But well, I, mean. I am having some friends for dinner. <laughs> uh, okay, where's it from? Where <laughs> uh, I actually add a little bit of wine to my pot roast mm -hmm. and to my chili. Oh, little little fact. That's a pro tip. Well, you have to taste the chili. Maybe we'll do that at the cook-off. Maybe we will. Uh, All right, here's a fun fact about Charles Smith, the guy that started this this winery here. Uh, he didn't discover his love for wine until he moved to Europe when he was older. Uh, while living abroad, he managed a number of rock bands, most like notably European rock bands. Like yeah, the Ravenettes. He managed the Ravenettes, <laughs> and then from there, it kind of sparked his passion for great wine. Like he discovered great wines in Europe, and then he came back here and decided he was going to do that. So, That's and he turned it into what, like I said, the largest independent winemaker-owned winery in Washington State. Dude has won a number of awards. 2009 Food and Wine Magazine awarded him Winemaker of the Year. 2010 Seattle Magazine recognized him as Winemaker of the Year. 2014 Wine Enthusiast named him Winemaker of the Year. So he's That's, been around the block. Those are good good reviews. Right? I, I've heard good things about this wine also uh, from Wine Spectator and Wine Enthusiast. They get very high marks. So uh, here's what's kind of fun. You had mentioned this before on the label here. This label is all of their labels are designed by the same woman. Uh, Ricky Korf, I hope it's Ricky, R-I-K-K-E. Uh, she used to be the global premium head design director for Levi Strauss, and then broke off and started doing her own thing. Give me your thoughts on this. Give me your, give me your thoughts on this one. Well, I'll tell you, I, I do like it. It's, um, it's a great full bodied red wine. That's what I really like in red wine, really bold flavor because I, even though I like it with like red meat mm -hmm. and Italian food, I also will eat with just about anything or drink it by itself. So for me, that wine's gotta be kind of a good experience just drinking it sure. by itself. So this really got nice flavor. Like some cheeses are not, uh, sometimes I'll have one of these, they're kind of like the, these boards where they'll have some nuts, maybe some candied nuts, mm -hmm. different cheeses and olives and stuff like that. I love to eat that and have a good wine paired with it but good strong cheese too like a, like a gorgonzola or a, a triple cream brie or you got excited about that one. Well, i love triple cream brie. i don't i don't even know what that is but price point aside would you buy it for yourself i would absolutely yeah i think it's a really good really good wine full mouth body i'm not quite sure how they describe that but very good i think you described it as yeah, you know, there would, maybe some fava beans would be. But some fava beans and a nice Chianti. So if you were in Washington State, definitely 
take a look out for this place. I I would I'd put it on my list. Absolutely, for sure. It's always great fun to visit any winery, but uh, maybe get another sample of this and find out mm -hmm. some other great wines that they make. It looks like they have quite a few. Uh, there's a number of hospitals close to that. If you're at a hospital in Washington State, uh, there you are within maybe a couple of hours of of some of these places here. So we will include an article below from uh, usnews.com listing the 50 best hospitals in Washington State. I guarantee they're all accepting travel contracts right now, probably. So, so there you go. Take a contract up there, check out a vineyard, and then let us know what you think. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. We'll see you Cheers. next time. Dolan here from A Beer with Atlas. Just reminding you to drink responsibly.